Hey everybody, are you ready to score your target band in your IELTS exam? So this video is for you. Today I'm going to talk about how you can ace your IELTS exam. So I'm going to give you some secrets of getting your targeted band that is band 7 to band 9. You can easily get it. It's not that difficult. There are small mistakes that often candidates make and there are few things that they don't know even after having good knowledge about things grammar and everything sometimes it appears difficult to clear this exam because this is a very intense exam it is an international english testing exam so obviously you will have to do everything that is possible but let's not worry i'm going to give you some secrets some loopholes shortcuts that you often avoid that are very necessary and you'll be able to score easily. Are you ready? I am Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor and you're watching Speak English with Shivangi. Before beginning, please subscribe the channel so you get all the lessons that I post on 8 a.m. every day. Like the video and share it with your friends. Now let's come to the IELTS, the preparation of IELTS. See, when you are preparing for IELTS, there are certain things that you need to keep in mind. You might be preparing for the tasks. There are four tasks. We all know that the skills, they are based on English skills. That's your reading, listening, speaking and writing. So you have four sections when you're giving an IELTS exam, whether you're giving an academic or a general IELTS exam, that doesn't matter. You still have four skills. Now, there are some things that are very important. Secret number one that I want to tell you is do not memorize your answers. So one thing that often students do in order to be efficient is they memorize answers, especially for speaking tasks. So they go through all the questions that have been asked in the previous years and they cover all the possible questions that an examiner might ask and then they try to memorize the answers. That is absolutely wrong. This is not the way to clear an IELTS exam. See, the thing is that you might not get your desired result or you might not get the band that you're looking for. Even if you clear IELTS, you might not get band 9 if you're aiming for band 9 because when you memorize something, it shows that you have memorized it. An examiner is an expert in the language, in the English language. And any expert can see that whether you're answering on your feet, that is, whether you're answering quickly at the time or you have memorized the answer. So do not memorize it because once you've memorized the answer, what will happen is you will not appear that fluent because now you're thinking about the answer. You're trying to retrieve the information that whatever you have learned, whatever you have memorized and hence this is not improving your fluency because speaking test is there to test your fluency, English language fluency. And English language fluency means to be able to converse with somebody, to be able to speak in English spontaneously, easily and effortlessly. So if you're not able to speak anything spontaneously, then there is no fluency. Even if you clear the exam, that's like you're fooling examiner and fooling your own self this exam will be of no use to you even if you clear it so do not memorize the answer not for your written exam and especially not for the speaking exam because what if a different question comes up what if examiner asks you to add the details to something then what will you do what details will you give because now you have memorized the answer and the examiner is asking you to add details you have no details to give the best thing is try to answer the question with your own experience. For example, I'm going to give you an example. If I give you an example that tell me about a summer holiday that you remember. Now, if you've memorized the answer and the examiner asks you for a detail, what will you do? What will you say? But if you're giving the answer on your own experience, with your own experience, the answer is real. You will be able to add the details that I went to this in the city 
for vacation i was with my family it was really nice if the examiner for example asked oh okay can you describe the weather what was the weather you'll be easily able to describe because you have the memory it is from your experience it will show and it will be genuine so the genuinity of the answer matters a lot that is the thing now the secret number 2 expose yourself to listening english content a lot so you just don't have to listen to the content but you have to listen to the content in various context different situation and different accents so the listening task the first task that you are assigned during ielts exam is listening and do you know the opportunity that you get to listen to the audio is just once just once so you have to gather as much details as possible in that one go one time that you're allowed to listen to the audio that means you have to be really good at listening to the english content that's why listening is very important plus they use lots of accents it can be british it can be american it can be australian so i suggest that expose yourself to listening watch tv series watch movies watch interviews try to expose yourself to english content where native english speakers are speaking try to watch some group discussions some panel discussions some kind of podcasts or interviews where two people are having a conversation dialogues so listening task 1 and 3 are going to be a group discussion or dialogues where lots of people are speaking together your listening task 2 and 4 is going to be of a single speaker so that's easier but if you want to ace in listening task 1 and 3 you need to give attention to listening to dialogues that is listen to dramas that's your tv series movies group discussions that's you that's something that you need to do if you want to score good in your listening test secret number 3 pay attention to grammar grammar structures so grammar is important here why because when you're speaking you will be marked upon the kind of structures that you're using while speaking so fluency is important but as this is an exam it is an international exam you will be also marked on your accuracy accuracy is very important especially when you're attempting your writing task so the writing part of this particular exam when you are giving your test use good grammar structures using accurate english is very necessary in order to get your desired band band 9 band 8 you must be accurate if you want that if you want band 9 band 8 you have to be accurate while writing your paragraph so writing is equally important we all know so please focus on your grammar try to understand basic grammar structures from time to time do some grammar exercise solve some quiz solve some fill in the blanks so fill up activities and revising your grammar structure basic grammar concept is very necessary so revise all the basic grammar concepts from time to time revise all the grammar structures this will help you in building your good grammar ability and in turn you will be able to write effectively in your exam secret number 4 read the instructions carefully now when you are attempting listening and speaking tests there are certain sets of instructions for example that answer only in one word true false and if there is a true false question they might even ask explanation why the particular thing is false if you miss out on these instructions and don't give relevant information or answer you might lose lots of point while speaking you have set time limit if you don't follow that you might lose a lot of value for your answer even if you are doing things correctly these small things can cost you a lot of marks and hence your band might get low so really pay attention to the instructions see the time limit the word limit what kind of details is the question asking you to give pay attention to it closely secret number 5 use a range of vocabulary so you need to 
expand your vocab do not repeat same words again and again try to expand your vocabulary and use synonyms antonyms phrases idioms when you are speaking try to use connectors when you do all these things your speaking becomes more fluent you appear more fluent more expressive you'll be able to express yourself in a better way when you use a range of vocabulary so improving your vocabulary is important this is a very important aspect on which the examiner is going to mark you the examiner will see that whether you're using good vocabulary or not your phrases your idioms your antonyms synonyms they are a part of your advanced vocabulary use advanced words advanced synonyms and you'll see that yes you will be able to impress the examiner both in the speaking task and the writing task so expand your vocabulary keep working on learning new phrases new words every day secret number 6 identify your weakness now you have to identify your weakness or weaknesses everybody has a weakness when you are attempting ielts there are four tasks four different skills on which you are just upon now the thing is that you might be good at something but something else might be a weakness for you for example i'm going to give you an example i was taking this particular batch recently two batches now these different batches they demonstrated different strengths and weaknesses so the batch 1 my batch 1 was really good at reading the reading was so strong that i often used to give them written instructions and they used to really do well with all the tasks that i was assigning related to reading listening we did lots and lots of reading and listening activities reading and listening practice so they were really good at reading so it's not like they were really weak at listening but listening was something that needed to be addressed so they could have improved their listening now the batch 2 the batch 2 was really good at listening they could listen but if i don't say the instruction out loud and it's written there on the screen in bold letters they would not know what they have to do they wouldn't read the things properly even in reading tasks i felt that my group one they used to complete all the reading tasks in the time limit whereas group 2 it used to struggle a little bit i can i could see that now similarly group 2 they were really good in listening so they would even catch the difficult phrases the accents so easily they were really good at listening now group 1 who was really good at reading so when they were listening to any audio they had to pay attention i could see it on their faces that they are like so attentive they are putting their total focus and yes sometimes there were things a few things that they used to miss out so the thing is that we all have strengths and weaknesses the thing is that we have to focus on our weakness and we have to improve that whether it's reading listening speaking writing whatever is the weakness for you try to overcome that weakness try to put all your efforts towards that particular area for some time so that you improve in that area do that and it's going to do wonders for you secret number 7 speak every day in order to develop that confidence and fluency that is required to demonstrate in speaking test your speaking task you have to speak every day just brushing up on your grammar and vocab is not necessary listening practice reading practice is not necessary they're going to give you a really great results in your listening reading writing test but for speaking you have to practice speak every day speak for 10 minutes take a topic search all the ielts topic that have been given recently search the possible topics there are websites where you can get topics ielts speaking topics ielts speaking task topics so take a topic and speak on the topic for 4 minutes 5 minutes 
take another topic speak on that for four minutes five minutes speaking practice is very necessary whatever new words you're learning phrases you're learning idioms you're learning whatever grammar you're brushing up on you need to apply it and in order to do that in order for this to reflect in your speaking you have to speak without practice your speaking fluency will not be developed and fluency and accuracy both are measured when you're giving a speaking test in IELTS both the speaking fluency and accuracy they are marked upon so you'll be marked upon your fluency and accuracy both are important when you're speaking try to use the new words that you've learned try to use idioms phrases try to use details when you're doing practice when you're speaking try to add details to whatever you're speaking for example if you're saying that i had a great day with my friend we went to a cafe so you can also describe the how the cafe looked like where were you sitting what did you order how it tasted you can include lots of details so try to include details do it while you're doing your practice so that when you give your exam you're habitual of speaking that much on a topic in details fluently accurately and you're able to express yourself that's the motto that's the task so these were the seven secrets to scoring your target band in ALS. so that's it for today that's the lesson you want more IELTS lesson just let me know and I'll bring more IELTS lesson for all of you now I'm gonna meet you tomorrow at 8 a.m. till then take care and bye